happy new year and welcome to your first 2018 reading okay now this reading is all about your goals and aspirations for 2018 followed by your relationship situation and where do you go from here okay and I'll also be reading for singles let's take a look Aries what will be your career objective especially for singles not really happy with your work situation right now Now, your main career objective right now is you feel so lost. You don't know if you're on the right path. You don't know if this is the right job for you or if it's really time for you to, you know, create some changes, but you're afraid because what if it's actually the right, the wrong time, okay? Now, there is something that you want to change in your career field and you want to leave something that made you like something of your interest before but now it's it's like you're getting bored you want to create some changes you want new adventures you want to have a new taste of you know like a new experience and you want to create more room to learn it's because you feel so stuck in your situation right now now you are thinking of either something that can define more freedom travel um you know something that you can delve your your creativity and something that where you can interact with a lot of people and express more of your knowledge and logic now and you're also aiming for a higher position like for example being self-employed or you know taking the next level of your uh, of your profession or um, position right now but the problem here is you feel so stuck in a situation and you feel like where it's gonna go you know and you feel like there are a lot of people who's been politicking you people is been backstabbing you sabotaging your work and tr trying to put you in a bad limelight now you want to work on your self-esteem self-confidence and your goals and aspirations for this 2018 okay now you want to be more fierce, more aggressive, more more of a go-getter and you want to make some changes to your attitude and approach in life and in your career and you want to you want to show this to your bosses that you're more that you are more zealous than ever, okay? Otherwise, if things don't actually work out after all of your efforts, you really want to resign by hook or by crook. Either it's 11 days, 11 weeks or 11 months from now. Now, I feel like by the time that you have already really decided to, I feel like around August, you will have enough support, you will have enough knowledge, and you will have enough backbone, okay, uh, that will support you to find wherever it is that, that you're, you know, whatever it is that you're really looking for, or wherever is your calling. And... The final outcome is I feel like you will be settling in a like in a fire industry and this will happen around the month of November fire industry meaning that internet or online media broadcasting vlogging and stuff like that okay which is you want to travel you want to have a clear definition of freedom and you want to freely move around okay so this is the thing that i can see for you this year and since it's that you're also a fire sign you know i feel like it's much better for you to start looking into this because you will try so hard to persevere okay now i don't feel like being in the travel industry if this is what you're thinking like for example working as a 
uh, like a stewardess or like a travel agent, this is something that's not really really suitable for you. Okay, so you need to be a little bit decisive as well because there are a lot of people who will try to deceive you and try to get in the way and try to block you because they can see more potential in you but and they can see you as a threat so you need to be a little bit more vigilant and more more out there okay you have a lot of potential and I also feel like you can you may start trading I'm seeing some well, I'm getting some signs of bitcoins or trading bitcoins, and that's also online job. Although it has something to do with the virtual currency, but you can you may also start doing that. Now, if you will just put your head, if you will just put your heart into whatever it is that you're going to be doing, definitely it will take you places. Okay, so you don't really have to worry about it, and you know. I feel like in your work right now, if you would just try to stick with a conventional way okay, of growing and uh, fulfilling your dreams in your current career right now, I feel like you're just going to get stuck. So it's time for you to start reconsider things and it's time for you to reshuffle your plans and targets for 2018. All right, let's take a look at your relationship right now and where do you go from here singles and couples well nearly singles as well okay I hope you had great new year because I'm, I'm feeling better right now I've had long even though I was so tired cooking but I've had long days of rest so I'm feeling a little bit okay right now now this is the energy communications it's strength reality passion the key to the future ooh, ooh, ooh. Having a little bit of cold because of the weather. Now let's take a look. Where do you go from here? This is where you are right now. What is the current problem? What have you forgotten to consider? Okay. Okay, this is what you need to consider. This is what you need to express. This is your problem. Where do you go from here? I feel like Aries, especially if you're with the air sign, you know the air sign keeps on coming up in your reading, even in the uh, goals and aspiration. If you're currently with an air sign right now, the problem with this person is that they're not really acting on their emotions and feelings. They're acting more on their logics and fears, okay? They feel like they know what they're doing, but unfortunately, they're not really facing the truth and they're not facing their own demons. In fact, that they are creating their own. All right. Now the energy of your situation right now is there is a third party in the, you know, there's a third party in the picture, which is whether this is unknown or known. Now the thing here is you need to balance. Uh, there has been a lot of, you know, miscommunications. The other person is relying on the other too much. The other one is being too detached and being too, you know, cold and distant and uh, not really showing much interest in resolving your differences anymore. And this is what's taking a toll on you. Your communications is that you're not really talking, you're not even looking at each other, you know, every now and then. It's like you're just housemates. So there's no, it's like there's no interaction, there's no passion, and there's no 
it's like the two of you are just way too indifferent, okay? It's like you're acting strangers towards each other. Your your relationship and your, you know, whatever that you have right now still have a strong foundation, although it's slowly deterring. So you need to save it while you can. You have a lot of feelings and you have a lot more passion and it's like for you, you still want to find for more solution, whatever it takes just to, just to resolve and just to save up this relationship. However, ask your partner if they feel the same or if they have the same idea or opinion. Because if you're the only one who wants to work out this relationship, then it's, you know, it's useless. It's going to be like a one-way thing. Now, the reality is both of you are afraid. But the other person is kind of snicking, playing detectives and being paranoid that, you know, you're doing this and that. And what if I show this? Maybe, you know, then maybe she will show this or that. There are a lot of what if and inhibitions and reservations. But both of you really love each other. And both of you are just being too walled up because of your fears. Now, the passion had died. Okay, as I've said, you don't really look each other the way you used to do. You're not really like cuddling. You're not really holding hands. You don't even sit together. You always sit right at the opposite of the table. You don't even talk about your everyday lives and whatever happened to your day. It's like, you know, it's, 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 the cold is just too, too cold. The key to the future is if you're not going to be, if you're not going to reach into an amicable resolution or solution to your problem okay or like an answer to some of the questions that both of you are popping into your heads then it will definitely result into separation because there is obviously something going on okay something is already occurring in your relationship something is already occurring in your domestic life either you or your partner is already having someone else or having another option now where do you go from here you both love each other you used to think that you are each other's strength pillar wall and soulmates you used to think that both of you are so solid you have enough strength but that strength actually was divided into <clears throat> like it was a throne into two individual strengths instead of being united you're strong your partner is strong and it's like that strength become more of a pride and ego okay what you have actually forgotten to express is and consider is that even though there are all of these some red flags in the past Especially that the person or the third person in the picture is actually someone around you, someone that is already close to you, or someone that you already knew. You're not really paying attention because you don't want to put malice or you don't want to put anything, okay, on the picture because you feel like they were friends, you know? Or I know that person. Why would that person do that to me? Now, this person is already known to you, okay? Now, this is what you need to consider. You need to listen to your instinct when they are, when you feel like something is off and you feel like that person is the one who's been messing around with my husband or wife, then it's time for you to investigate. Don't take an action, okay? Don't jump into conclusions. It's still, you need to have a solid evidence against everything or against whatever they are doing so that you will have more edge to make them feel guilty and make to, and to make your partner feel more, well... Cheaters actually won't resent whatever they're doing from the beginning, but once they've already like suffer from the karmas that they are going to suffer right after, you know, um, ditching you or doing something behind you, then that's the only time that they're going to realize that they are so wrong. Now, this is your main problem that you are too gullible, the other person is way too tricky. The other person is way too intelligent or smart and you are just way too emotional and love the other person too much. To the extent that you believe whatever they say, whatever they do, and whatever they show you. But right from the very beginning, well no, right, not right from the very beginning, but I feel like this had started one year ago. 
mm, around spring or autumn that they started wearing masks. Okay. Now, the main thing here is let's take a look. This person, even though you're going to bust them, they're not going to express any remorse or resentment. In fact, that they are the one who will have the nerve to make you suffer, to make you feel like th that's your fault. You know, that's the reason. You're the reason why I did this. You're the reason why I met this person. I did not look for any temptation. They're the one who come to me, you know, and you're being so cold. You're too preoccupied with your job and your dreams and everything else. And you've already forgotten how it is to be my wife, my husband, or my partner. So instead of them saying that I'm sorry I made a mistake, they're just going to make you feel more suffer. Okay, and this person is already planning to leave or this person is already thinking of escaping okay and there's already a betrayal that already happened so meaning that there's something that happened already between whoever it is and that person and this will just give you a lot more burden you will be discovering the truth and you'll be discovering the lies and you will be willing out more changes in your life right after this bottom line you'll still keep on holding on even though this person will be walking away from you and even though that this person will be uh, more likely just not really choosing the other but choosing their own freedom because they feel like it's like they are too coward to resolve the situation or they are just way too coward to you know to address the problem they want to take the shortcut yeah, that's a better way of putting it now let's take a look at your oracle cards and of course the romance angel cards And I will be continuing the Chinese forecast right after all of this. Okay, have to take a few breaks from that. You know, for you, this person is will always be your one and only love, and will always be the right one for you. But you also have to reconsider a, other few things. You know, like for example, it already came out the unrequited love if this person feels the same way towards you or if they feel like you really belong to be together let's take a look what are the things that you have to remember in this well in this situation and in this year I feel like it's So that all cards can fit in one picture. And singles, don't worry. I'm going to do a spread for you and if you're going to be finding you love this month. Now, the situation has taken a toll on you. You're still like trying to deny the fact that the reality that there are some changes that you really have to like express and it's time to make some changes. Okay, or it's time for some changes to really take place. You feel like this is really the right one for you and you're trying to hold on even though there are a lot of red flags that's all the slapping in your face. And you feel like this is your one true love. You're ready to do anything and everything and even to the extent of forgiving this person because there's just too much codependency. This is what also created the imbalance in your relationship. Attraction of all the faded 
as I've said, the red flags, you're just pretty much ignoring it. And you have to pay attention if the, if the other person still loves you or if the other person still feels the same way towards you. These are the things that you have to start reconsidering as part of the changes that you want to make in your life. All right. Now, seeing clearly, it's time to view things from this from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities don't worry the positive momentum while you think your plan won't last embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you you have to see things clearly you see even the cards are already like um like uh, agreeing on the other cards okay now seven of emotion your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off it's likely you know which choice you should make but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are because when i when the uh, when the cards show that the other person is already planning to escape or run away or choose their freedom you are the one who should be making this choice because you already know and you can see that the red flags is no longer red flags it's already the fact okay but you're just putting it off hoping that things could still change and develop and that your partner would reconsider your foundation but you know as i've said cheaters will never have any at first okay they won't have any remorse or resentments in, in fact that they will just justify whatever it is that they've been doing not unless that they are already suffering from their karmas okay now seven of action you're being called upon to claim your personal power feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no and it's the right thing to do for yourself your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than conflict with others i also feel like it's time for you to heal some family issues either you're you're you have some problems or you have some issues with your father or with the with a male family member all right six of thought peaceful times are on the horizons the storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight the stress in your life will begin to fade away allowing for happier times it may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country oh you're going to be traveling Far of action, your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. Well, well, I feel like it's time for you to... Well, you may also start investing this year, but hopefully not the birth of a child. If you are not yet pregnant, but if you're already pregnant, then I feel like it's time for a brand new beginning. Now, a win-win solution. There's a strength in diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise in working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Nine of Abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take a time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. And you've earned the financial sec security and independence you now enjoy. One more thing. For newly singles, I feel like just wait for three months and the right one or the newfound happiness is actually waiting for you across the seas or when you travel to another country or to another place okay or to another city could be now six of action what a wonderful experience for you your project is a total success in bringing awards promotions or other recognition for your efforts well done if someone who can help you offers assistance and know that this person is heaven sent and say yes now, the Ten of Thought, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and when you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go of this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his, her, of his or her addictions or codependency issues. Now, the good thing here and the good side of this that even though you will be, it's like, because it's by faith okay that you're gonna have your freedom whether it's momentarily or permanently um you're gonna be gaining a lot more recognition when it comes to your work you will out you will 
also have the chance to focus more on your goals and aspirations and targets for this 2018 plus you will you may start focusing on your own needs and love yourself even more all right have a great 2018 um aries and if you need to have more in their readings and personalized readings go and visit me at my website it's a vangel.net we are working on more developments and progress in my website and please start signing up now as a as our member and enjoy future privileges plus there will be some changes that we will also be implementing when it comes to our rates so right now we are not making any you know because of the taxes of course of the government but it will be until march okay so hopefully you'll have great more guidance and great more insights all right